everyone. We're going to start off on our second project for the ant unit. So this is going to be our ant hill. Um, so you're going to have a piece of paper, a large piece of paper. You're going to have a half sheet of dark brown paper. There's going to be a little ant hill. And then these kind of strange looking um, cutouts, these are going to be your ant maze. So what we're going to be making basically is um, the home for the ants and then a nice maze where they kind of dig down into the ground. So you're going to take your main sheet of paper and you're going to turn it long ways so it's facing you up and down. So you can see here. And then we're going to take our half sheet of dark brown paper. This is going to be our soil. So what we're going to do is have a glue stick. And we're going to glue our half sheet of dark brown paper to the lower part of the long sheet. Like so. Okay. So as I'm sure many of you who have seen an ant hill before, it looks kind of like this. We are going to, once again, glue our ant hill to the top part of the soil, right? Because it sticks out so that the ants, as they're going about their day, collecting all kinds of things for their home, can see it easily and get to it, right? So there's gonna be our ant hill. Now this part, you can, do as you please, whichever way it fits. I tried to kind of cut out lots of different shapes um, for the ants to go into, um, because as some of you know, and those who don't, ants will dig a tunnel down into the soil um, to create lots of different places where um, they can store food and other sorts of things to kind of build um, a more complicated area for their colony. So lots and lots of ants can get inside. I'm making mine, oh, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue here. So I'm gonna be making mine this way. Um, you'll have different kinds of mazes, so whichever way you would like to make your maze is up to you, right? Because ants build um, lots of different kinds of tracks and different kinds of weights. So let's see. I'm going to do this on this side actually, change my mind, like so. And then I'm going to put this one right here, All right? So um, whichever way you want it to be facing, make sure you're putting the glue on the opposite side so it's not confusing. Okay, so there are my little ant tunnels, if you will. Okay, and so now um, I cut out quite a few of these ants for everyone. Um, feel free to really put them wherever you want, right? So I'm gonna make my ants go up the hill and I'm actually gonna make one of my ants, <gasps> I'm gonna tuck him in here and make him go inside the ant hill. You do not have to do that if you don't want to. It's up to you, really, right? So the ants go into the ant hill, and they're gonna come out into the tunnels. So I'm just gonna keep going, and I'm gonna glue a bunch of ants so they're making their way down into the tunnels, which is where ants live, as we all know. Okay. And I'm just putting them wherever I see fit, like so. And if you feel like your ant's home is finished, then that's totally okay. Otherwise, if you wanted to take a marker or a pencil or a pen, um, whatever anyone feels comfortable with, and you can add some legs to your little ants. And I'm gonna add a couple here. Right, and whoop because he's going in, so it's kind of silly. I'm just gonna give him a bunch of legs. 
and you can go for it. Whatever way you feel your aunt should look is up to you. And if you want to do little antennas, you can do that as well. Right, because ants do have antennas. And there we go. That's gonna be our second project.